really cool story here that I'm excited to uh, tell you all about. EV Technology Group is uh, focusing on and specializing on retrofitting and helping uh, companies that make uh, automobiles and retro uh, automobiles, flipping them over to electric. We're happy to have uh, Vouter Vitvot back uh, on the show once again, co-founder and CEO of EV Technology Group, a recent addition to the NEO Exchange here in Toronto. EVTG is the ticker, guys, on the uh, NEO Exchange. Uh, Vouter, this is uh, an exciting time. Uh, we're happy to have you back on the show once again, as I mentioned. Uh, tell us about this concept, because it's, it's kind of outside the box a little bit, but something that I think a lot of people will be interested in. When you're starting a, a new company uh, for the public markets, it's always easy to start something that you're really passionate about. And I'm, I'm a massive petrol head, I'm a massive car guy. But as I started thinking about, you know, what kind of vehicles to purchase as we uh, in, in, inevitably need to move to electric, there are very few cars on the road that excite me. Uh, so I saw a gap in the market and, and came up with the mission for EV Technology Group, which is to electrify iconic brands. And we started with the very iconic brand um, uh, called Moak, which we all know from its history of uh, being featured in James Bond four times. Bridget Bardot made it famous. And then most recently, some of you will have seen um, uh, the Kim Kardashians purchasing around five, uh, five, six mugs over Christmas. And that's just something that I think an icon um, has with its brand equity, and that's what we're bringing to market. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, concept here and how it works and the overall uh, business model. Very, very cool idea, as we said, but uh, what, is the, what is the concept here? So we're, we're going to these companies and saying, hey, let's work on getting you over the hump and, and transitioning to the electric side of things. Uh, tell us a little bit about how the actual process works going forward. In the market, there are probably uh, hundreds of different brands that have existed over time that now either are dormant brands or they're sort of small series production, but they have legacy brand value. Uh, Reddit forums that are uh, talking about these brands, kind of a fan club that if this car would to exist in the current world, you'd have a whole plethora of buyers uh, for those cars. So what we're doing at EVTG is rather than um, uh, investing in developing a new brand, we're taking existing brand equity and then helping that turn into an electric vehicle, thereby uh, benefiting from a lot of the cost savings and the marketing uh, value that is already uh, residing into the in these brands. So when we look at uh, the space in comparison to what EV Technology Group is doing, uh, tell us, you, you know, how this is a different concept overall. I mean, everyone's heard of Tesla's story, obviously. There's Rivian, there's Lucid, there's Fisker, there's so many. Where does EVTG maybe fit into this space? Yeah, when you see where EV Technology Group really fits in is, is when you compare to other players in the market. If you think about it, they have to do two things, which is really hard. They have to build a car, and then they have to build a brand and bring that brand to market. Now, everyone in the automotive industry will tell you that building a car is very hard, especially with the newer technologies that we have today. Everyone in marketing will tell you similarly that building up a proper brand is very time-consuming and, and costly to do. So we're taking away one of those two equations and focusing on le leveraging existing technology to bring some of these brands to market. Somebody wanted to maybe, I'll, I'll put you on the spot here a little bit, uh, Vader. If somebody wanted to, maybe they had, you know, one of these older cars just sitting in a garage somewhere that they love and cherish, you know, and maybe want to bring it into the future and do this kind of retrofit themselves. Is that something that the company makes available as well? So there are great companies that do that in the space that, for example, uh, retrofit, like, let's say, your Rolls-Royce or your Jaguar. From a macroeconomic perspective, we see that as a finite market because there's only so many of those classic cars available in the space. So in order to create the maximum long-term shareholder value, we focus more on uh, creating new cars that are fully homologated uh, and can be driven on the roads in uh, North America, Europe, and other countries uh, as well. I love the concept of really kind of tapping into, you know, the passion behind this because so many people get, you know, that attachment to these vehicles and really want to bring them into 
uh, the future as, as time goes by. What can we expect here from EV Technology Group? It seems like a concept that's really, you know, has unlimited uh, potential. There's three things really core to our strategy. So the first thing is, of course, the strategic and iconic brands that, uh, that we are acquiring, Moke being the first. Uh, but obviously, we are looking at uh, other brands in the space. Then critically, and where a lot of EV startups um, fail to address, is having, having access to proper supply chain and manufacturing capabilities. So that's something that is core to EV Technology Group in, in having that capacity in-house. And then for many of our brands, which will be direct to consumer, we're focusing on the distribution um, of those in the different markets through flagship stores. Um, uh, we announced the first one in Saint-Tropez and uh, within due course, we're announcing more um, of, of those plans, both in North America, Europe and, uh, and other locations as well. Really interesting story and uh, excited, I am personally anyways, to see how this you know progresses and, and moves forward uh, throughout time. Uh, again, guys, EVTG on the NEO Exchange, the ticker here in Toronto, the NEO Exchange listing uh, in Toronto, Better Vitvod, uh, co-founder and CEO of EV Technology Group. A pleasure once again.